All right, so I'm at the burnt down here, and uh, I wanted to, since while I'm exploring this, I wanted to kind of give my give a little bit of lore, if you will, about myself. Uh, you know, give my you know, because I'm brand new to this, and you know, you know, I figured I want to tell my inspiration you know, for doing YouTube, like, uh, you know, like I say, I've seen. You know, so many people do seven days of die content on YouTube, and uh, there's also uh, one big uh, influence from uh, outside the seven days community, which uh, his name is uh, Vpeak. He's a uh, if you you probably haven't seen him before, but he's a uh, very pretty decent sized content creator, and he's known for doing like uh cod zombies videos and also like uh rainbow six stuff he's uh, he's uh you know i really like him and he you know, he just kind of does his thing you know he's just an average joe just kind of working through uh you know, doing his uh, thing and he, he's a big inspiration for me but uh particularly from the seven days to die community the uh, one content creator I would watch mostly is, uh, if you're in the Seven Days to Die community, you would probably know him, too. Uh, his name is Jawoodle. He's a, he's a Australian YouTuber, and he, he has a pretty big channel, and he's, you know, I love watching his Seven Days content. He's been doing it for years, and, you know, he keeps on saying that he's, you know, like, oh, I'm just a regular... Um, but, you know, he kind of talks down on himself, but, uh, you know, he's really a, an awesome content creator, and he's pretty funny, in my opinion, at least he, and, uh, he has a lot of funny moments, you know, in his uh, videos, and just one of those, you know, VP, Jawoodle, if you guys uh, happen to see this video, and, uh, you know, just so you know, you guys have done a lot for me, you're a big inspiration, and, you know, it, you you really mean a lot to the community, Jewel, especially for Seven Days to Die, and you know, for COD Zombies and Rainbow Six Siege, you, know, you mean a lot of VP, and you know, I just wanted to say, you know, just thank you. So yeah, we're looking at a gas station here. Uh, I'm gonna pick up these oil barrels because uh, they're, they're kind of explosive. Let's search the gas pumps. Gas and everything. Yeah, while I was running over here, I found a pistol with some nine mil. Got a pair of mini bike wheels, which are lower quality than what I picked up before. I'm gonna take a look in this uh, pass of gas. Yeah, overnight, I managed to get to level 136 for both tools and weapons. Hey, Richard guy, how are you doing? And I've crafted a bunch of iron arrows. But, uh, it's one of those, uh, like I was saying before, just, you know, uh, just give my, you know, a little bit of lore for myself on the, you know, for one to start trying to do YouTube. Uh, hi, Bob. How are you doing? See you, Bob. Uh, try and clear this place out. Shouldn't be too hard with a higher quality weapon than tools. Uh, still don't have a name for the burn victim yet. Hi, Annie. How are you doing? Yeah. Psycho Steve, how are you doing? Come here. Yeah, just think like we don't have any dogs on me at the moment, so. Marla, how, how are you doing? Uh, a couple more, and then 
there's Steve and the Sweat. You're down. Um, come on, Sweat. Gotta watch out for these guys. Their animations are so glit. They sometimes they'll hit you. You won't even see them swing at you. There we go. You're down now. Uh, search these guys for their loot. Aviator goggles. Cowboy boots and leather. Let's grab that for. Um. Pass of gas. Oh yeah. I'm sure these zombies hit pass a lot of gas. Ooh, there's a workbench in here. If I could get a, a wrench, I could take that with me. In case uh, you know, those of you who play PC Seven Days Die don't know who you because know, you didn't play like Alpha 15 and all that, you can take a, a wrench of those and you know, wrench it up like <laughs> I think some mods do it on PC. But it's one of those kind of a, you know forgotten feature of the of this version. You know, like because <laughs> the PC version has changed so much. Sounds like we got more company. Last year, uh, who is it? Uh, we got a, a Marla as a crawler. Got the red shirt guy. Damn it, Marla. Oh, great, sham sandwiches. So many freaking sham sandwiches on the console version, I tell you. It's like, what was this? A, like, was there just a giant uh, shamway sale where all the sandwiches were free or something? Because <laughs> these sandwiches just get ridiculous. Let's see if we can find anything good here. Jars, short iron pipe in a jar. Murky water, and eh, not too much. Uh, this one's good for keeping keep my leg healed if I sprain it. Blueberry pie, that's pretty good. Another one of you. Oh, you're about to bite the dust. And another one's gone. Five more dukes. Uh, let's see. Break in here. I think there might be a bookshelf in here. Jars, see if there's anything in the bookcase. And eh, just paper. Anything that's decent for selling. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a drop chest here just you know, so I can have uh, clear out my inventory a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna head over to the working sift tools, and uh, if I find something interesting in there, I'll, I'll let you know in a bit. So I'm out front of uh, working sift tools here, and uh, you got some company. So I'm going to take these guys down, and, uh, and while I'm doing that, this will be fast forward. So see you in a minute. Got to level up and you know, got 20 points to spend. Uh, see what I can invest into here. Invest into another level 62 Rex, and we'll be investing into the knife guy. So more stamina regen and more uh, knife damage, which means helping kill zombies more quickly. 
So take out Charlie over here. Or a window. Uh, Alright, have a good one, Charlie. Yeah, also, in a blue car by the gas station, just on the other side of the building, I found a, a mini bike pa a padlock. So, break this window frame. So, you're gonna break into these uh, boxes, see if they can find anything interesting. A level 69 iron pickaxe, nice. Plastic in the shopping cart. Jars of water in the vending machine. Nothing in there. The nails, that's basically enough to make a secure storage chest if I want to make one. Break this one down too. Looks like someone's knocking at the door. Uh, that looks like a nail gun battery. For the nail, and uh, got some fertilizer. Fertilizer is good for farming later on. Red shirt guy and, uh, and Charlie, they are the one to be repeat customers here. Oh, got Bob coming on over. Care of these two, these three. Quit moving you. You're down. Bob, you don't earn that. Come on. Okay. And blade weapons, level 15. Let's see, Charlie. Damn it, Bob. That pair of shades for me. Thanks, Charlie. Get rid of those nerdy glasses. Jump back in here for loot. Anything good in the shopping basket? No. There's one. Then that sink, trash can, or more glass jars in the cabinet. Murky water, that's good. A green alcohol. Uh, not too much in the bathroom. Anything in the garbage? I know these shelves here, like once you get decent tools, are not a bad way to get some quick iron in here. And early on, what I like to do in these stores is I like to break out the walls here because they're made of wood. Only about like 300 HP per block, and you gotta break through like 900 HP for the doors. So it just saves you a little bit of time. Okay. Look at all like there's plenty of boxes in here. Anybody back here? No. We gotta save. More paper. Uh, should hold uh, hold out. We'll uh, break down these crates. The zombies can be so loud at times. Hey, a wrench and a claw hammer. That is really good. Wrench means we can take home that workbench. Our claw hammer. Some nails and mechanical parts, too. That's pretty good. Some rebar frames, uh, iron garden hoe, and uh, some repair kits. Now, if you're a PC player watching this and you... Hmm, you know your seven days, uh... You know, have been playing for a while, it's like... 
console version still has rebar frames, you know, this version has not been updated in like five years. It's like, I know uh, some people kind of miss the rebar frames, you know, like, uh, they, uh, <laughs> you kind of miss the realism of how to kind of pour concrete and iron door, that's pretty good. Get some pretty good stuff for building the base. I'm gonna scrap that down. Um, I'm gonna go back to the dump chest and I'm going to continue to look around a little bit more and if I find anything interesting, again, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So as I'm roaming around here, I not really finding much in this town other than like some burnout houses and the working stoves and the shanty town and the couple gas stations. Uh, it, it's well, this is, you're trying to take out zombies mostly. And I think what I'm going to do here is because I found the because I found the uh, it's, the workbench over in the gas station. I'm going to go and hit. I go over to the gas station and wrench that up, and so I can take it with me. And uh, so yeah, I'll be back in a moment <laughs> once I'm over there. <laughs> See you in a bit. So I'm back at the gas station here. <laughs> Get the pass of gas with the pumps out front, where I left my drop chest earlier. So you. Know, those of you, you know, if you play PC and are not aware of you because you played the new versions after like Alpha 15. So I'm beating my pickaxe, I've beaten on this with my pickaxe, and I'm not getting any resources on sev on the PC version. You get resources for breaking down the broken ones. So what I'm going to show here is with the wrench, you have to use the wrench on the final hit for, and voila, I got a you know, workbench. So, yeah, there's some fun features on the console version here, you know, that are kind of forgotten. And they are, you know, is a little bit overpowered, uh, to some people I'd say, you know, to be able just to, if you find a wrench, to be able just to wrench a workbench down, to uh, have a workbench, like, on day three, because... If you look in the skills uh, here, uh, where is that? You'd have to level up your construction tools to like level 15 to unlock uh, the workbench. No, you'd have to level it up to 20 and and you know, you can even I don't think they actually spawn the world, but uh, concrete mixers uh, can spawn the world. Uh, you know, you could level them up. It's like you know, of course you'd have to have the spent then concrete mix. Uh, Log, but it's like, say like the uh, construct uh, the uh, industry station here. You'd have to work to uh, construction tools 40 and science level 15, uh, and your skills uh, to unlock that. It's like you find a uh, act, uh, popping pills. Uh, I'm pretty sure it always has a chemistry bench, uh, so it's like it's basically a guaranteed spawn. And it's like that is all that is pretty powerful and. Yo, know, it's like, that's a later game unlock, and I know, like, with the learn by looting system, they would, some people will probably love to have that feature, you know, just be able to wrench it down, you know, even if it was only for a chance of, uh, unlocking the, uh, you're getting a work, a, uh, work, uh, chemistry station, that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, I'm sure some people would love that option. So I'm gonna offload. I'm gonna get my loot. Go get as much as I can. I'm gonna head back to the barn and uh, catch up uh, when I can uh, uh, get back there. I'm gonna see you guys in a few minutes here. All right, home sweet home. And uh, after, as I'm pulling up on here. Uh, See, there's a little bit of damage from the zombies, so I'm just gonna break that wood block down and turn on the flashlight for you guys.
Yeah, you can see the zombies did a little bit of damage uh, from night two going into day three. So, yeah, I'm just here to just kind of quickly drop all my loot off. These ladders can be a little finicky. So, yeah, I'd say gotten some pretty good loot. Let me eat bacon eggs real quick. Got some more feathers. I converted the leather, uh, the animal hide to leather, and more larger bones. That's a good for baking glue and bone shows. Until I find the hunting knife schematic, we're going to be stuck with that, so. And we got our workbench. So, I did leave some stuff back in the, in the burnt town. So, but the workbench is a huge advancement. So, yeah, I'm gonna grab some materials for nighttime and I'll, I'll kind of tune in with you on the nighttime. Okay, so I actually just thought of something because I realized I picked up a, a moldy bread in a previous episode and I realized since I have a beaker, I'm like, I wonder if I can make a. 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 a antibiotics and. And it looks like I actually can. The thing is, I don't know if I need four, which is really unfortunate. So yeah, it's like, I thought my problems were solved, you know. Unfortunately, can't make uh, herbal antibiotics, and the one thing that really sucks here is that with sham sandwiches, uh, you cannot make moldy bread out of them. And it's like, it just goes to show you how kind of pathetic those are in the console version. It's like they're not even really used in the, the PC version of Seven Days to Die unless they're mods. It's, a, it's just kind of one of those. And why can't I make a... Why can't I not make a, you know, moldy bread out of old sham sandwiches? Just one of those, it just seems so backwards to me. So, yeah, you know, seeing what the work material you know, allows me to craft stuff without having to do, you know, clog up my queue and everything. You know, it's like, can, which is really helpful, and, you know, that's a really good a bit of progress in the right direction. Uh, and it looks like I might actually be able to make. First aid kit, so if I can make, uh, get some blood bags or a blood drop kit. But yeah, it's like, I think you need, like, the workbench for steel tools and making the cement mixer and all that. So, yeah, it's one of those, just, you know, making good progress there. It's like, just to show you, I could only either you know, drop the sham sandwiches and it's like I think you know you can eat them if you have vitamins but it's like if you're like me it's just what is why just why would I eat it if I have you know bacon eggs or even jerk meat because then I wouldn't even have the risk of uh making you know, getting sick from it and I, it doesn't even require vitamins it's just what is it just doesn't make sense so yeah, uh, I wanted to show you know, on the, the map where I'm at, you know, if you look right here where my curses are here is, you can see coordinates where that is, you know, coordinates for my bed and, you know, where my player is right here. So, 2,605 south and 1,552 west is where I'm at on the map, you know, and this burnt city is... 3164 to the south, and then 737 to the oh, west, and point this out because on console version, this is no longer a thing on PC. So it's like, okay, I found the center crease of the map here. You know, one, uh, it'll go one west or one east. And you, know, I scoot up to the 
you can see right here. Yeah, basically I go and you'll go north and this is zero zero. Uh, so I'm gonna mark this on the map for future reference. Just use that as a. That's three kilometers away. And you know, some people will be like, "What's so special about zero zero? And if you, especially if you're well acquainted with this version of Seven Days to Die, let's hmm, say hmm, you get a what's known as a hub city. They don't exist anymore you know, on PC. And uh, you get to. And they're really good. You basically get, I think, one of every store but the poppin' pills. But it's like you get two cracker books, uh, two shotgun sizes, and two working stiffs, and two shamways, and you get some apartments. And it's like, I remember on the first episode when I was wandering, I, I came over to the to this wasteland for a second and decided to just, yeah, die out of it, and, uh... And I'm pretty sure this road goes to this wasteland city over here, so it's like that's interesting. And uh, and I ran down this road for a little bit, and it's like it's curving, I think, to the south or southwest at least. So there very well could be another city somewhere over here. So yeah, it's one of those. It's very good and could do. We're making good progress here, and. Uh, Coming up on day four. Well, it just ticked over day four, actually. So, one thing I'm thinking about doing is, uh, you know, I want to consider getting a base set up, and I would like to not live in a barn. That's like, you know, don't get me wrong, this barn is doing very well for giving me a uh, shelter and everything. It's doing me. I can't think of it enough, but I'm like, I'd like to either find a town that's not the burn to biome or you know go to or you just build my own base out in the middle of the wilderness near town so I'm gonna leave this episode here and uh, I'll pick it up at four o'clock so I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you made it to the end and hope you like the content I'm making and the you and hope you subscribe down below and and I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody.